ADS is our autonomous vehicle operating system. To be clear, we're not going to start launching our own vehicles. We're not trying to be Waymo, we're not trying to be Cruise. This is about us building a platform because there is a fundamental problem in industry. There is huge budgets being deployed by OEMs in silos where they're all building their own proprietary approach to AV. That's not great for consumers, that's not great for mobility. At some point, these AVs are going to need to communicate with each other, and they can't at the moment. They might be able to within their own group, they certainly can't communicate on a, on a, on a cross-platform basis. And um, beyond that, they're all uniquely building a data asset that's already built. Ouija has already built a data asset. And Ouija, as I mentioned to you earlier, we've collected over 689 billion miles of data from over 19.8 million vehicles. So having this valuable data asset, it became very clear to us that we should make this data asset or the insights on that data asset available to industry. And we thought the best way of doing that was to build an operating system, an open operating system that can be queried by, by industry. And beyond that, we built a prototype to demonstrate the power of the data. Typically, AVs rely on their own machine learning data dictionary, which our own is now referred to as AVOS. Then they refer a LiDAR, which is a form of radar, and they refer an image and camera recognition. And again, we built our own data asset around that as well. So I'm going to talk about that today. Beyond that, I'm going to talk to you about something called Neural Edge. Neural Edge is our ability to reduce the overhead of data leaving the car going to the cloud. The big, one of the big challenges industry have is that there's too much data. And I say this where we just processed 25 petabytes of data. We process half a million data points every second. Seeing data from 6% of all traffic in New York is a big overhead. And there is no intelligence in the car, in most cars, that actually reduces that, the data that's, that's sent. And most of the data has no real-time value. So we've built something called Neural Edge, which enables OEMs to reduce that overhead, to reduce their costs. We're also going to demonstrate what we call our meta twin, our digital twin, that's been taken from our data. So we've not relied on any third-party data set, we're not relying on anything other than the data we're collecting from our own vehicles. So today we are, we're, we're launching what we call AVOS and we're launching a prototype called Delivery. Delivery is a, it's, we built it ourselves. We, we bought an off-the-shelf uh, skateboard and then we printed our own vehicle, literally 3D printed our own vehicle. We did it to demonstrate to industry what a live AV platform be, how we can help just speed the deployment of AVs in the world, whereas at the moment it's very frustrating. You know, you'll hear about press release so Cruise is now going to be in a second city, Waymo is going to be in a second city. Yeah, consumers want to know, want to know when their VW works in every city. So we built a platform to, be able to demonstrate the power of our data, and we built a physical vehicle to drive around, frankly, to show data, show what our data looks like to, to you and me, and how we can interpolate it. So why do we do what we do? As I mentioned to you before, there's 40 OEMs who've licensed the DMV around our AV. But our focus is 1.3 million people die on the roads every year. There's actually 8 million people who die from emissions. These are huge numbers. And data can, be, can make a massive contribution to reducing deaths on the road. If we can help AVs be deployed quicker, then that fundamentally reduces fatalities on the road. AVs are proven to be much better than driving on the roads. We've created over 689 billion miles of data. It's 10 times more than Tesla. We have over 19 million vehicles on the platform. So what is AVOS? Well, AVOS is enabling AVs vehicles to anticipate the road ahead. We see within a minute, and we, we machine learn the outcome within a minute of if congestion suddenly appears on the road, or if a crash appears on the road. We know that. We can then inform other vehicles of that and, and help avoid it. We know from the conversations we're having with mapping companies, that is hugely valuable. All mapping companies that we're dealing with machine learn congestion on minor roads. Machine learn where they believe there's a crash. The problem with that is that they then don't see a real-time change of road environment. We built a common language, standardization of data. We built a simulation environment, which we call Meta Twin. And we've also built modeling where we want to understand how humans are expected to behave in certain environments. So with the millions and millions of learnings we've got from two vehicles coming together, we can help predict about what, what a human does before, during and after an event in a vehicle. So the Neural Edge is a technology we launched with Microsoft at the beginning of the year at CES in Vegas. Neural Edge is our way of reducing the overhead of data leaving the vehicle. We've shown we can reduce the data overhead by up to 80% without any reduction in the quality of the data percent.